All right, mathematicians. Today we will be reviewing math objectives K.1, A, and B. K.1, A is I can tell how many are in a set by counting out loud. K.1, B is I can read, write, and represent numbers from 0 to 20. We're going to start by listening to our numbers in the teens, have a group of tens to remind us about our teen numbers, and then you're going to represent sets um, of teen numbers using some digital cubes. Let's get started. Locating numbers with a group of 10. Come on, everybody, let's sing it again. Numbers in the teens have a group of 10. Come on, everybody, let's sing it again. Numbers in the teens have a group of 10. 10 is a group of 10 and 0 extra ones. 11 is a group of 10 and 1 extra 1. 12 is a group of 10 and 2 extra ones. 13 is a group of 10 and 3 extra ones. 14 is a group of 10 and 4 extra ones. 15 is a group of 10 and 5 extra ones. 16 is a group of 10 and 6 extra ones. 17 is a group of 10 and 7 extra ones. 18 is a group of 10 and 8 extra ones. 19 is a group of 10 and 9 extra ones. Come on, everybody, let's sing it again. Numbers in the teens have a group of 10. Come on, everybody, let's sing it again. Numbers in the teens have a group of 10. 10 is a group of 10 and 0 extra ones. 11 is a group of 10 and 1 extra 1. 12 is a group of 10 and 2 extra ones. 13 is a group of 10 and 3 extra ones. 14 is a group of 10 and 4 extra ones. 15 is a group of 10 and 5 extra ones. 16 is a group of 10 and 6 extra ones. 17 is a group of 10 and 7 extra ones. 18 is a group of 10 and 8 extra ones. 19 is a group of 10 and 9 extra ones. Come on, everybody, let's sing it again. Numbers in the teens have a group of 10. Come on, everybody, let's sing it again. Numbers in the teens have a group of 10. Let's see how you're going to represent these team numbers using groups of tens and some digital ones. In Seesaw, you're gonna find activity 4.1 math, numbers 11 to 20, click add response. Find your name and icon. Now, you're gonna to wanna to switch from the, um, that cross type tool that you see to your hand tool, you're gonna to be moving, okay? Now, you'll notice that there are some towers here. Those towers, just like in our song, are a group of 10, okay? So you can count them to double check or you can subitize and know it's a tower of 10. So what you're gonna to wanna to do first is you wanna read that number in the top left corner and then you're going to build it using a group of 10 and the ones that you need. Now, I could, Take one cube at a time and slide over one, two, three, four, five, all the way to 11. But that would kind of be a waste of time, wouldn't it? it? It's not efficient. Because we are subitizing and because we know that teens have a group of 10, we're gonna be efficient. We're gonna use what we know and we're gonna represent that number. So, just like the song says, 11, is a group of tens and one extra one. 10 and one more is 11, okay? Now, I have some cubes here at home. You probably don't. If you do, go grab them. You can actually make these sets using your own cubes. Um, if you have Legos, you could do the same thing with Legos. That would be awesome, okay? If you don't, that's why we've got the digital cubes for you. So, 
what that would look like, just like it does on the, smart, on the Seesaw app, is a group of tens. And then one extra one is going to give me 11 altogether. Okay? If I wanted to do that with 14, think of the song. 14 is a group of tens and four extra ones. Good. You drag that group of 10 and then one, two, three, oh, I've run out of blue. Oh, no worries. Just grab a different color. The color doesn't matter for this activity. Just grab the correct um, number of cubes to represent that set. There are three pages for you to complete this activity, friends. Same activity directions on each page, um, just different team numbers. So page one, page two, and then half of page three. Once you've represented the team numbers using the digital cubes, click the green check to submit.